If you want to know how to import your contacts from perhaps maybe another email provider to your get response list, then this is how you go about doing it. So in this video, I really want to break down how to go about importing your subscribers into a particular list that you may want to have in get response, or you can create a brand new list all together. Okay, so that's going to be our email tutorial video for this week. I hope you enjoyed. If you've got any questions, go ahead and comment below. But look, in commenting, do yourself a favor and subscribe whilst you're at it. If you enjoy this kind of video series, I will be releasing email tutorials every single week, not just with get response, but how to do email marketing as well. Now, let's get stuck into this. The very first thing you want to do once you log in is you come to your actual menu here. Okay, this is essentially your dashboard. So you want to click here and you want to go to contacts. So this here will give you, it's, this is obviously a summary. So at the moment, I've got 135 subscribers in my 1000 email um, trial account. Okay, so the very first thing you want to do is add contacts. So it's actually a pretty straightforward process, which is one thing I really enjoyed about GetResponse, I'll be honest. Um, is that you, you pick your list as to which uh, which one you want them to go onto, okay? So I'm just gonna click daily emails here, and then you click on upload a file using an external service or paste rows, okay? And then what you do is you click on choose file, then you go to wherever your document is. In this case, I've got it here. Click open, and then this will start loading. So. Once you've done, then you go add and update existing, only add new. If, if maybe you're, you're adding the list again, just to ensure that you've done it properly, or if you're adding a, a new segment of subscribers to a particular list and you want to do it manually, then you want to make sure you click the, which one of these options. And you have to click on, I have permission to add these people uh, due to can spam laws, okay? And then you click on next. Um, and this will go ahead and update it for you, okay? So you're ready to import your contacts. These are all the email addresses that I've got. It's only showing 20, but it, it will import the entire list, okay? And once you click import, it'll take it and it'll start importing it for you and put it onto your list, all right? Now, this is what will happen. I'm gonna go back to my contacts and I'm gonna show you exactly what Get, Res Get Response does. Uh, because it, they actually do you a favor in the sense, okay? So what, what you'll see here is I had 136 people on that list, right? And in fact, you'll only see here 134, okay? So what they've, what they've done here is that they've done you a favor in terms of going and checking out like spamming email addresses, okay? Because some people just sign up to certain lists and stuff like that simply because they want whatever, whatever free thing it is that you've got available or they essentially just wanna look at what it is that you've actually got going on. And in doing so, it can actually hurt your list in the sense that, um, I'll just reduce this so that you can see. And if we click on this list, you'll see here, okay? So these are the email addresses that I've got, but it's actually it actually only imported 134 of the 135. Uh, why is that? Well, that's because of, of all these email addresses, three of them were already blacklisted. and. It, the reason why certain email um, platforms have better delivery rate than others is because they've got better spam protection laws in place. Meaning, if GetResponse adds, you know, 50,000 people that have been blacklisted, when you blast that out, Google's going to see it, um, and that's the biggest email provider is Gmail, And but they're also slowly catching up with their own ways of doing this. But Google will see that and go, hmm, these guys must be spammers because there's a bunch of blacklisted emails that they're emailing out to at the same time. So GetResponse is actually protecting you in the sense that they'll, they'll sift out the rubbish that is in your email list and they will make sure that the people that you're emailing to aren't, aren't uh, blacklisted. That will ensure that you actually have a, uh, a higher rate. Um, it means that you have a higher deliverability rate um, on your emails that you've actually got, and as a result, you'll get better. Um, you'll get better uh, returns, right? So you're going to get more people opening. You're going to get uh, more people clicking, and eventually, more people becoming customers, which means more money in your pockets. Okay, so hopefully that makes some sort of sense. I did not mean to go into that detail, but I was trying to explain why it was Get Response does what it does in terms of checking your email list before it actually adds people's. Uh, to your contacts list, okay? They're actually trying to protect you. They're trying to protect your own platform. So you can see it here, 134 people, but in fact, um, I've actually, uh, the list that I uploaded was 137, okay? 
And the reason obviously this shows 135 is because this list has one email address, which is just mine. Um, it's a default that uh, get response does just to help you out. And then it's got the daily email list that I've created here myself. Okay, so look, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, Go ahead and comment below and I will put you in my latest draw that I'm going to be doing on a week to week basis where I'm going to give you full access to my members only area so that you can get full tutorials on how to do email marketing, how to do YouTube marketing and so on and so forth. So you can really start building your business and get discovered online. All right. So thank you so much. Go ahead and subscribe. I'll be bringing out another video next week. Until then, take care, much love and I'll see you next week.